The promise of what we are showing here is that you can get the performance simply extending the very well-known way that you program x86 today. What we announced today was a series of very important steps towards continuing to progress high-performance computing and the underlying capabilities forward. We announced today uh, on, with our Xeon E5 family of processors the first ever integration of PCI Express Gen 3, which is 2x faster than the previous generation Gen 2 and provides through the, that integration a very significant performance advantage to applications that use one, but more importantly, multiple processors to build systems at scale. The I.O. capability of integrated PCI Gen 3 along with the work of the ecosystem to build other hardware to it is going to take the HPC marketplace faster forward in a very significant way. The second thing we announced uh, today, which is in some sense historic, is the first delivery of a teraflop of double precision performance in a single chip general purpose architecture capable of doing this and much much more but this chip which we call a early silicon of the Knights Corner product delivering a teraflop of sustained double precision performance today, breaking the barrier that the last time was broken 15 years ago with a system that was in excess of 70 cabinets. It exemplifies much more than Moore's Law. Moore's Law is, of course, the fundamental engine, but it's not just that the 72 cabinets shrunk to this through Moore's Law. Without that, we would not be here. But on top of Moore's Law, that fabric of innovation, there are innumerable innovations in microarchitecture in platform architecture, in core architecture, in memory architectures that all go to serve the benefit of what this chip can do and has shown it can do today. But yes, the basic advancement is on Moore's Law, but it's much, much more than just being able to reduce size of transistors. What our belief is that in order to use acceleration for parts of workloads or parts of applications or certain types of applications, you really do not have to take a very expensive detour. Forget everything you've learned or what you have developed before versus simply be able to extend it. The, the promise of what we are showing here is that you can get the performance simply extending the very well-known way that you program x86 today. You think of it as cores, threads, caches, and there are well-established techniques supported by software tools, ours and others, that, that give you the ability to exploit that architecture for whatever computation application you write. What we want to do is take that learning, take that understanding, take that capability, and just continue to extend it forward provide the benefit of a highly parallel architecture, such as MIC or many integrated core, but be able to provide that performance without completely changing the programming model, having everybody learn something new, and completely invalidate the trillions of lines of code that exist in the ecosystem, in the world today. That's a sign. That's an investment that you can continue to grow on top of as opposed to have to completely replace.